Hey everyone, Nick Ernst here, the Director of Engineering for Aqua Marine. Today I wanted to show you guys the new Victron follower mode that we're implementing in firmware version 1.18. So the new Victron follower is not going to require a battery shunt. Uh, Zeus will not have to have a physical connection. We get all that data from the CAN bus through the Lynx BMS. So down here I have a Lynx 500 with a Victron uh, Smart Lithium 12 volt 100 amp battery. Uh, my Zeus, Servo GX, and a Touch 50. So Zeus is going to be getting all the battery information now over the CAN bus connected to the links. With the previous version of Victron Follower, you needed 13 wires connected to uh, monitor your battery, get your uh, current data, get your voltages. Now you only need nine. So you have your four wires go into your alternator. It's going to be your Alt V Plus, your field, your temperature, and your tap like normal. Uh, and then from your battery control harness, you need power ground, ignition, and then your alternator shunt. All the other data for the battery is coming from the CAN bus, so all we're doing here is monitoring our alternator shunt to see what the alternator is outputting. Here we're running our Zeus high output alternator, this is the A275L. Uh, you can see we're running it at 850 uh, engine RPM, which is roughly about 2100 alternator RPM. Uh, at 43% duty, we're putting out 97.3 amps. Uh, we're charging our battery very efficiently here. Uh, again, all this data is coming over the CAN bus, uh, so we have our Touch 50 here that we're kind of comparing our data to in our app, uh, and everything is being reported to the servo, set normal, but Zeus is operating fully off of the data that is getting from the Lynx BMS. Thanks for watching the video today. To learn more about our Zeus high-energy products, visit arcomarine.com.